back, everybody. Give it up for John Baptiste to stay human. John, you got it. John, I'm very excited. Yes. Happy Wednesday, by the way. Yes. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Yes, and you too. And I, I'm very excited. Uh, the wonderful, incredibly talented actress Rosamund Pike is here tonight. Yes. And, yes. and yes. not only that, but my dear friend Sir Peter Jackson is here tonight to talk about the Beatles documentary, yeah, Get, Get Back. Back. Extraordinary Get footage. Back. We talked about it last yes. week. Y'all, please, Beatles. check it out. Now, Folks, if you watch this show, you know I spend most of my time right over there carefully blending for you the day's newsiest, most topical flour, eggs, milk, and butter, and straining into a fine batter to make delicate yet informative comedy pancakes. Then I glaze them in the juice and zest of the most relevant midnight Valencia oranges and douse it all in a fine de la main de voyage cognac before flambéing and basting them tableside to serve for you the James Beard award-worthy crepe Suzette. That is my nightly monologue, but sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I wake up in the baggage hold of Greyhound Bus that's being hoisted by the scrapyard claw toward the burn pit, escape to a nearby abandoned price chopper where I scrounge for old bread scraps, busted open bags of star fruit candies, and expired eggs, chuck it all on a dirty hubcap and slap it over a tire fire before using the legs of a strained pair of sweatpants and as oven mitts to extract and serve the demented transient's pound cake of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... It's like poetry, man. It's like a tone poem. It's jazz. Where's my nomination? <laughs> Meanwhile... Here in New York City, a statue of Thomas Jefferson was removed from City Hall after 187 years there he is being placed into a crate, and once they're done, the same crate will be used to pack up Mayor Bill de Blasio. <laughs> Historians agree that, of course, Jefferson should be remembered, but he needs to be contextualized. Moving the statue doesn't mean New Yorkers will forget who Thomas Jefferson was, but some of them might learn from the controversy that the man who wrote All Men Are Created Equal owned over 600 of his fellow humans. A professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice said... Yes, we have to be careful we don't blindly honor men who own slaves. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go back to teaching my courses at John Jay College. He what? <laughs> Meanwhile, in Under the Seas news, octopuses will have their feelings protected under a new UK law, which recognizes that many sea creatures are sentient beings with the capacity to have feelings, including crabs, lobsters, crayfish, prawns, and squids. So, all the ones we boil alive? <laughs> That's clearly inhumane. From now on, we strangle them first. <laughs> Get in the pot. Meanwhile, Apple is targeting 2025 to launch a self-driving car without a steering wheel when, I assume, they'll charge you 20 bucks for an adapter so you can use your old steering wheel. <laughs> Meanwhile, a woman in Michigan is going to prison after she decided she wanted her husband dead, so she tried to hire an assassin online at rentahitman.com. Always good to rent a hitman before you buy. It's less maintenance, and you still have that new hitman smell. <laughs> Unfortunately for the wannabe widow, rentahitman.com is a fake website <laughs> run by Bob Innes, a 54-year-old man who forwards any serious inquiries to law enforcement <laughs> and who uses the fake hitman name Guido Finelli. <laughs> little on the nose with the cultural stereotype there, Bob. I'm surprised the website didn't have a little pizza chef with a gun. I'm a maker of the murder sauce so good. <laughs> we'll be right back with Rosamund Pike. <laughs>